Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. So we are gonna do some full cover tips today. No gel, cause as you guys know, I do not use gel. So we're gonna use the Dashing Diva Fast Bond. So right now we're just, we're using the Triple D acrylic full cover tips and we're gonna size them out. I do already have them sized out and filed and ready to go, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I do this. Um, so you want to go sidewalls to sidewall with no of none of your nails showing. So the pinky's a little tricky for me because the <laughs> this yeah the, mm, that one was too small and this one's a little too big. So I end up having to use that size, which I believe is a six, but it's in the seven spot. It's a little weird, but. And then I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do, but I'm not gonna do it again. I file the sides to make them fit and then we're good to go. And then I, um, to prep my tips, these do come like matte with the inside matte, but I always do a little bit more. So I take that bit that I just showed you and I file the inside. I've already done that off camera, so I was ready to go. Um, and now we're gonna get into this. We're, we got our dehydrator, so we've got our activator, which I'll show you in a second what I use that for. And then we've got our two bits we're gonna use after we get the tips on. And we've got our e-file. This is an iGel Beauty, the one. Um, it's a great file. I've had it for a while and I really like it. So with the activator, we are gonna put a just a one coat inside the nails and this will help the glue dry faster if you've used dashing diva you know it dries a little bit slower it's great it's really goopy that's not really the right word but it's really thick like a gel but it's not gel so it's really awesome but i like to help it dry a little bit faster so we've already done our cuticles and everything um i did that yesterday yes my nails are short and they look like absolute yuckiness um i did end up picking some off which is a huge no-no i know better and i did it anyway i was in a long car ride and had a little bit of a anxiety moment got the best of me and then we have our base coat and activator that we're going to use later after we get the tips on so that's uh, i was just showing off my right hand that i had already done and yeah, so we go around, or I go around the the edge of the nail with the glue so that I know that I'm going to get a good seal around my cuticle and um, sidewalls. I've already done uh, three of the nails off camera, so we're just going to show our pointer finger, and I'm also going to show my thumb. So, you know, push it down, get that glue, it needs to go all the way to the free edge. You don't want it, yeah, you don't want it to not go all the way to the free edge. And then we are on, we are stuck. So we are going to clean out the underneath with the wooden stick. Um, I guess I don't, oh, I guess I didn't have to do it on this one, which is shocking because I did it on all of them because the glue seeps out. Then we're gonna do our thumb and I usually have a hard time with ratios on the thumb because I don't add enough and then I have to go back and add more. But I think on this one I added enough, so. You just want to get it in there nice and not too thick. You don't want too much glue, but you want enough that it will fill that fill that uh, apex area so that the nail doesn't lay flat to your nail. It kind of has, a, it's kind of raised. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. So hold it down until it is dry. I usually hold for about 30 seconds or so, and then we will go in and clean up the underneath and we are almost done with this part and we'll get into the next part there is probably going to be a ton more talking in this video than normal because i'm only showing the two nails and i kind of want to explain what i'm doing throughout but that's okay hopefully you guys don't mind hearing my voice at you know early in the morning with a rooster crowing in the background it's fun <laughs> And he's coming closer to me, so it's just going to get louder. So we're going to clean the tip of our fast bond um, so that it doesn't harden around. And then I have to like try to break it open again. So I just used a lint-free wipe with some swipe solution on it. So I'm going to use these tip cutters. They 
are amazing because you can make them all the same size, which I absolutely love. And then I use cuticle nippers to kind of just cut off some of the excess on the sides so that it takes down my filing time. Um, I try to be really careful because if you overcut, so I try to undercut. <laughs> if you overcut, you're kind of gonna screw yourself. So um, I try to just take off a little bit off the sides and then the rest I'll do with the file because I'm a little more comfortable with that and I have a little more control and then I won't mess up and make one of the sides uh, too, sh well, I was gonna say too short, but that's not really what I'm going for. But I think you guys understand what I'm saying. I don't know if I understand what I'm saying, but hopefully you guys do. So after this, um, we are going to get pull out our e-file and we are going to go, we're going to use, um, I'm going to link the bit because I think I got it off Amazon, but I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry, but it's a very fine bit. Oh, actually. No, I lied. We're gonna go in with our file and we're gonna use the 100 side, so the grittier side, and we're going to shape our nails after we shape our nails. Then we will clean up around the cuticles. So I'm gonna take a quick little break, let you guys watch for a minute, and I will be right back. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I you always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh They'll never stop unless I can swap all the bad Okay, we are all filed up, and now we're gonna get into cleaning up our cuticles We've got our e-file you can obviously use a hand file for this you do not have to use an e-file i just just this is my preferred method and this is a super fine bit so you're not going to hurt yourself doing this and i'm just going around the cuticles i want to clean up any of that excess basically plastic uh, around my cuticles or any glue that may have seeped out and gotten onto my skin so I'm gonna do this for the pointer finger and the thumb this does go pretty quick and then we'll pull out our other bit and I'll show you what I do with that. Um, I did want to mention with the hand filing, it is really important and I tried my best to stay on camera. It's really difficult, especially on the thumb, but I think I actually did a pretty good job, but it's really important to go side to side, um, like switching off on sides when you're shaping because otherwise you could over shape one side and then you're gonna look wonky. So that's why I'm going back and forth throughout the whole time and not staying on one side too long. So just wanted to explain that and we are done. And then I do obviously the rest off camera. And now we're gonna go in with our sandy band, sanding band. This is a medium grit, so it's a 150. Um, I do get the sanding bands from iGel Beauty. I have a ton of them. I don't know when I'm gonna run out, if ever. And we're just going over the tip and we're on a, a three, like my speed is super low and that's because I I'm not trying to take any bulk down. I, th this is just to do a quick job. I can use my hand file very easily, but this is gonna be faster for me anyway. And I just wanna 
kind of rough up the surface because I am going to do a layer of dip base coat. Um, you could do a layer of gel base if you use gel, but if you use gel, then obviously you're not using the Dashing Diva. Or maybe you are. I don't know. I don't know what you do. <laughs> but um, I just want to give the the dip base something to really adhere to. So that's why we're kind of roughing up the surface. And then I use the 180 side just to go around my cuticles one more time, make sure everything is nice and flush, make sure I didn't miss anything when I was filing. Um, just something really uh, not too gritty because I'm going around my cuticles and I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to cut myself. My cuticles have been through enough the last couple of weeks. Um, I did have to use some bag bomb treatment because I had, uh, I had done a lot of filing and stuff and kind of hurt a couple of my fingers but they are all healed up now they look good i want to keep them that way so yes 180 side just kind of making everything look good or as good as you can when you're using full cover tips i'm not the biggest fan of full cover tips but i needed something that i just didn't feel like doing my tips with dip at the moment it's just it takes a long time it takes a lot out of me <laughs> just didn't have the energy and actually I think these turned out really good I hate the see-through part that's what probably drives me the m most crazy is that you can see my nail bed through and when they're this short and stubby and ugh, I just that ah. it's not my preference but they're going to be covered anyway so I don't know why I care so we are filed we cleaned up all the filings with a dusting brush and then our swipe solution on a hard stiff brush and you know, these tips are pretty sturdy on their own but i want to make them even more sturdy because there are times that i don't have any dip on it i try not to do it for too long but you know sometimes i lose because i use peel base sometimes i lose my dip a little bit earlier than i'm planning on and i don't i'm not going into a mani till the next day and I need something that's going to hold up, something that's not going to break. I garden, I have animals I take care of. It has to be a little bit strong. So I added one layer of base to every nail, no dip, just, just the base coat. And then I waited until they were dry. It took about two minutes, not too long. And then I just go in with two layers of activator and it hardens super fast because there is no dip for it to penetrate. So it's like hard immediately. And then I'm going to just go in and buff. That's it because I use peel base and I don't use gel top coat. So I need a super, super, super smooth surface for that uh, peel base to, to really adhere to without pulling up anything and to work properly. So um, I go in with the grittier side of this buffing block and I give them a really good buff, get around the cuticles, get underneath um, to get any of that extra plastic from the acrylic tips off. And then I will go in with the more file-like one that's underneath. And it's, it's a finer grit. So then I use that um, to, again, just go over the nail, cuticle area underneath everything just really good I'm just trying to smooth it out you know like when you're sanding a like a dresser or something and you're just trying to sand it down you'll you'll start with the grittier and then you'll move down and then you'll move down to like the finest one so basically that's what I'm doing I started with the grittiest one this is a little less gritty and then I will move to the like super smooth one which you'll see right here so I'm using that super super smooth one um, it, there's no grit to it at all. It's just, I don't even know what you call it, but it, it just smooths it out so, so perfectly so that I can use, and I have this sped up a lot. So it looks like I'm moving in a super fast motion, but it's not, I'm not really going this fast. I swear. I just didn't want you guys to sit here and watch me file forever. Cause it's kind of boring. We're going to clean off the dust and we're going to um, take our swipe solution again with our stiff brush and we're just going to make sure everything is nice and clean and then I do wash my hands which I know they say not to with the Dashing Diva for like a while but I've always washed my hands immediately after because I don't want to get any kind of reactions to the glue any reactions to the base any reactions to anything so I wash my hands and then I go in with my cuticle salve and my cuticle oil and then we're done. You don't have to listen to me talk anymore. Yay. 
or at least until the next video. So thank you so much for being here and joining me. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you haven't yet, I would super appreciate it if you did. And I would love it if you would like this video, if you liked what you saw. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.